for my civic engagement, I volunteered down at Backward Hoops where, obviously, you know I work. So, it was a couple weeks ago, I texted my boss, Kevin Clark, and was and asked him if there was anything I could do around there because I really didn't know what I was going to do for this civic engagement. And he told me, he was like, yeah, we'll figure something out. Just come down here on Saturday and we'll give you something to do. So I showed up thinking I was just going to end up working the clock or cleaning up around in the inside. But I get there and he hands me this big trash bag and a pair of black gloves. He's like, here, go outside and clean up the parking lot. And I went out there. Or not even, I didn't even go out there first. I just looked at him. I was like, like, actually, you want me to clean up the parking lot? He's like, yeah, like, start down. And there was, this, like, this big dirt bank. And there was so much garbage. It wasn't even funny. It was it was kind of gross. I found, like, 50 beer cans and just a bunch of other gross stuff. And I found three pairs of pants. And, I like, I don't understand how someone can just leave a pair of pants in a parking lot. It's like a tiny little parking lot. Like, it covers the entirety of the building, and it's a huge building. It it probably took me four and a half hours to get up, pick up all the garbage, and like I kept on going inside, and be like, "Oh, I'm done." And then like the owner of the building would come out and be like, "Oh no, like you missed all this stuff, you missed all that." And I'm like, "Are you kidding me? Like this is gonna take me literally forever." So I just kept on going back out and doing it, and but like. I'm complaining now, but like in hindsight, like it's a good thing to do. Like if I didn't have, if I didn't do it, it wouldn't have gotten done. Like they're not going to go out of their way to hire somebody to do that just because they're cheap people. And I know that and everyone knows that. I think this project is like a, a great idea just because like it gets everyone involved in some sort that they wouldn't have done before. Cause like, you see it in a class and it's like, oh, you have to do it because if you don't do it, you're going to get a bad grade on something and nobody wants that to happen. So I think it's a, a kind of a, a good idea how you like incorporated this into our class, even though like we never really talked about volunteering or anything like that. I think that like it gives you a good perspective on how you're going to have to volunteer at some point in your life in your profession and like a lot of internships nowadays aren't paid. So technically, like, you're volunteering your time to get experience. And any, like, wishes that I volunteered to do something, like, cooler or better? Like, I know a lot of people in this class probably volunteered for, like, Jog for Jude. And I think that would have been a, a cool experience just to go out down there and help everybody out to... And, like, help in such a, like, a big event like that where most of the help, if not all of it, is coming from the volunteers. Just because it's something, like, for the better of people. Like, I kind of just... I don't want to say like took the easy way out, but I just contacted someone that I knew that like I knew would like take advantage of the free help pretty much. I also think it's great like what I, how I said before that the majority of the help for these kind of events come from volunteers and like without the help of these volunteers that that they do get and they're able to get every year like year after year. If it wasn't for these people, these events like really couldn't happen. Because they wouldn't have the people to hand out the water, park, help park the cars, and just do like the little things that need to help organize the event and help them flow smoothly. I just think that volunteering is just uh, such a oh, good experience and brings in some sort of camaraderie. Like I wasn't the only person cleaning up the parking lot. There was me and another kid. I... Don't remember his first name, but I know his last name was Maddock, and I know his dad, but I don't know his name at all. But we just we just like shot the breeze and like got to know each other, and we both were like huge fans of the Sixers, and they were actually playing at the time. So we like every so often we check our phones and like talk about it and like talk about the updates for the game, and that just made like a better experience and a experience that I'm glad I actually got to have. It was like a, a not a friend, but like obviously because I don't know his name. But it was just like nice to just have something to hang out with while doing.